Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about uh, customer churn prediction using machine learning algorithms on uh, uh, Azure platform. Now we know that customer retention is one of the primary growth pillars for products uh, with a subscription based business model. Competition is tough in the SaaS market uh, where customers are free to choose uh, from plenty of providers uh, even within one product category. Uh, several bad experiences or even one uh, may lead to a customer quit uh, the service. Uh, so what exactly is customer churn or customer attrition? It is a tendency of customers to uh, quit a brand and stop being paying client of a particular business. The percentage of customers uh, that discontinue using a company's product or services uh, during a particular time period is called a customer churn or attrition rate. Uh, one of the ways to calculate uh, uh, churn rate is to divide the number of customers uh, lost during a given time interval by the number of acquired customers and then multiply that number by 100%. For example, if you have got 150 customers and uh, lost uh, 3 last month, then your monthly churn rate is 2%. Now, uh, from the use case perspective, uh, for ch customer churn prediction, uh, telecom, uh, telecom com companies, software as a service providers, uh, uh, music and uh, video streaming services, media. Now, now, these are the specific use cases where you can apply uh, customer churn prediction. Now, the overall scope of work uh, for the data scientist to carry out, uh, uh, to carry out, uh, to build a machine learning algorithm uh, to uh, to predict or forecast cust customer attrition may look like uh, they have to understand a problem and final goal, uh, data collection, data preparation and pre-processing, modeling and testing, model deployment and monitoring. Now, from the machine learning uh, algorithms perspective classic uh, machine learning models are commonly used for predicting customer attrition for example logistic regression decision trees random forest and others random forest can be used as a baseline model uh, the performance of uh, models like xg boost uh, light gbm or cat boost can be assessed as well and data scientist uh, generally use baseline model performance as a metric to compare the prediction accuracy of more complex algorithms. Now the experts in marketing decided to predict the churn before two months of the actual churn action in order to have uh, sufficient time for proactive action uh, with these customers because if you are doing the prediction uh, when the customer has already uh, left the brand or quit uh, it does not make sense so you have to have that analysis uh, sometime before the customer is about to leave so that you can take certain proactive actions with these customers now from the architecture perspective uh, here we are using uh, event hub uh, to capture the data streams the live data stream and then using stream analytics uh, storing the data in a SQL data warehouse uh, and uh, uh, then it goes to machine learning. The historical data is being stored in Azure Blob storage. I already discussed about the machine learning that what are the steps that need to perform from the data scientist perspective and then what are the algorithms they can look at. Now what's under the hood as I said uh, the solution is composed of uh, Azure components including data ingestion, data storage, data movement, advanced analytics and visualization. Uh, the advanced analytics are implemented uh, using Azure Machine Learning Studio uh, where we used Python uh, to build data science models. And uh, uh, for data ingestion, uh, the solution can make predictions based on data that is being transferred to Azure from on-premise environments. For uh, uh, if I have to go further, so there are multiple steps in the solution and uh, the solution steps includes like uh, uh, 
uh, tagging data, feature engineering, train and evaluate and scoring. Uh, now these are pretty extensive means if I have to uh, discuss about uh, uh, each of these steps in terms of how you tag data, how you perform feature engineering, how you train and evaluate model, then how you score it, then each uh, step uh, requires a separate presentation. Uh, maybe 10 15 minutes and that I'll cover as well I wanted to make sure that you have a good insight of architecture first and since our focus is architecture not the development uh, if you have any specific requirement uh, we can share uh, the templates with you where we have uh, complete uh, uh, POC uh, that you can use uh, uh, in your environment means it really depends upon what type of business vertical you are in because the feature engineering and data tagging uh, plays a very important role and uh, we have used uh, 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 data set that may not be applicable in your environment so you have to look at those aspects but yet yes as far as uh, uh, python scripts and uh, a sample uh, evaluation model and the whole steps that we can share with the, those who are interested i guess this is it from my, my side have a great day thank you very much